Hi everyone and welcome to your practice today. I'm going to guide you through a full body strengthening and mobilizing class. Nice and strong and steady to work from top to toe. And this class is really great for everyone but it's also appropriate for anyone who might be pregnant and through any stages of your pregnancy so for all trimesters it's safe for obviously just take it at your own pace if anything doesn't feel comfortable then just change it up and rest and do something that feels better for your body so we're going to be using a theraband a little bit and we're going to be using i've got a block but you might want to use a ball or a cushion something a bit softer great so let's begin so we're starting in seated in this lovely long frog position. Make sure your feet aren't too close to you. Just slide them away, create lots of lift for your hips. You might want to sit on a block or a cushion or a seat, just anything that helps you feel comfortable and lifted through your spine. So let's just take a moment to just be here. Just let your hands rest either on your lap or maybe on your tummy and just take a few lovely breaths just to get into this present moment to connect your breath, your body, to feel lifted through your spine, your posture. To let go of any tension that might have crept into your body today so far. And just to dedicate the next bit of time just to yourself. Let's bring the hands just onto our shins and come into a little C curve. So allow the pelvis to just tip under you, stretch in the low back. You're not gonna rock back, but just have a little pelvic tilt here. And then just tip back onto your sit bones and come upright. And again, so a little rock, like you're rocking a bowl towards you under your pelvis as you exhale and inhale as you lift all. Good. Exhale, so you're tipping off your sit bones, drawing your pelvis under, stretching your lower back, and then rocking the pelvis the other way. I really want you to feel it coming from the structure of your pelvis, tipping under, and then tipping back, really visualizing that happening in the body, trying not to lose too much height, so you keep all this lovely length and space as you stretch both ends of the spine, and you return. Couple more here. And up. Good, lovely. One more from that pelvis. Rock it under, stretch open in the hips and the thighs. And tipping all the way back, right up on those sit bones. Bringing the arms up in front of you and just taking a lovely fly. So you're gonna open the arms and close the arms. Good, open and close. So feel those shoulder blades lovely and wide. Lift the top of the head up to the ceiling. Inhale, expansive reach and exhale. Last time, reach the arms to the side, bringing your right hand softly down to the mat. Left arm comes up as you take a softening into a side bend here, warming up through the side body and coming back up to that fly. And then bring in the other hand down, soft in the elbow as you reach over. And then reach tall, arms wide on the back. Good, pressing those feet together. And lifting up. Really feeling lovely and expansive. Try and touch both ends of the room, creating lots of lovely space in the spine, one more to each side. Starting to really use that lovely wide Pilates breath into the ribs and coming all the way up. Settle the arms and come around to one side. So laying down into a side lying position, you can put a cushion under your head and if you're in a later stage of pregnancy, you might want to place a cushion under your bump just to support there. We're gonna do a little oyster action. So allow your head just to rest down in alignment, letting your sides just stack up, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip. 
trying to stay nice and active on the underneath side of the waist, flexing your feet and then just taking a lovely opening and closing. So working into the side hip here, we're really gonna focus on strength and mobility in today's class. From the tips of the toes to the top of the head, we're gonna do some nice TheraBand upper body work and we're going to do some nice work on our all fours and in standing as well to finish off. So lots of lovely exercises to stay nice and connected. Let's do five more here. Four, good, keeping that long, stable spine and pelvis. Three, two, that nice external rotation. Last one, we're gonna add a nice extension out, flex the foot away, bring the heels back together and close. Good, so add in that long leg extension, pressing that foot away, heels together and close. I'm already feeling this one in my hip today. Pressing it out, in and close, good. So feeling into that hip, let's try about four more if we can. We'll have a lovely little stretch as well of this hip. Three. Breathe, two. Last one. We're gonna hold that leg out there, reach through the toes and circling around for five, for four, lengthening that leg away, three and two and one, reversing for five, for four, stretch that foot, three and two, and one, reach it a little bit further away. Oh, and bring it in. I don't know why that was really tough for me today. So let's take a little hip stretch here before we go into some side upper body work. So coming all the way up. Now the one I'm gonna do here is just to come to a seated position and bring that leg that I was just working across the other leg. I'm gonna flex that foot and just hook that foot there and just rest back either on my forearms or maybe on my hands here if I want a bit more of an intense stretch and really press that thigh open. Feels really good to stretch this hip. Couple of breaths just into that hip. And then just gently come out of that when you're ready. We're gonna bring our TheraBand now. We're gonna come back onto that same side and work a little bit through the arms. So keeping the band out in front of you, you're going to come down onto that side. Bring the legs up and we're going to do a little pull on this band. So I've got one arm sort of straight out in front of my shoulder and I'm gonna hold the other end of the band in my hand. So I've got the arms on top of each other here. So I can hold a little bit looser, or obviously if I want more work, I can hold a little bit tighter. And we're gonna pull the band, oh, this is quite a strong band. <laughs> so we're gonna pull the band up to the ceiling and then back down. I'm used to practicing with a bit of a lighter band. So this one's quite tough. So obviously depending on the strength of your band, you might hold a bit looser, a bit tighter. Good. So we're just going to work into the shoulders, try not to let the shoulders bunch up by your ears, really draw them down the back as you lay on your side and reach that arm lovely and over the chest and the shoulder. Good. Four. Three. Relax your neck. Two. And let's hold it up on this last one and then pull that arm down towards the waist, towards the hip and back up. Good, and pull it down, working into the lats and back up. Lovely, and draw it down to that hip and lift. 
and draw it down to the hip, supported through the waist and up. I can start to feel it. Let's do four more. And up, keeping the resistance the whole time. Three. And up. Last two. You're nearly there. And up, up, up. Last one. Reach it down. Hold. And bring it up. And relax. Ooh. Give that shoulder a little roll. And release. Really nice. Now come on to your all fours from here. Just keep the band handy. Uh, to the side there, pop the block out of the way. So you're going to use that same leg that you were just doing the oyster with. So come on to your all fours and we're just going to do a little single leg cat. So we're going to bring that, mine's my right leg, but whatever leg you were using, hugging it into a nice cat stretch and then sweeping it. You can reach out just along the floor, but if you feel comfortable, lift it up. So we're going to exhale, hug the knee into the chest and inhale, sweep it out along the floor and up. Good. Lovely long leg. Curving in. Stretching and mobilizing the spine as well as strengthening into the hip and hamstring and the upper body and the center. So always keeping your movements really flowing and stretchy and expansive. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. And then just bring the foot down, cross it behind the other foot, the leg, and just gently draw the knee in so the knees are sort of touching. And then just see if you can sit back a little bit. Maybe this is too much to come down onto the forearms and just see if you can, maybe you keep your hands straight and just push back just into a little bit again of a hip stretch here. Or just come onto the forearms and push back again there if you have the space to into these hips. And then just gently come forwards again. I'm going to reverse the sweep of the leg around to the side and back in. And then take that band and we're going to place it underneath the hand that's going to stay on the mat. We're going to sweep that leg out to the side and just turn the other shin around. So we come all the way up into this lovely um, kneeling side kick position. So we've got this lovely side bend through the body. We're pressing the pelvis forwards. We're keeping this foot nice and rooted down. And then from there, we're just gonna bend and straighten this top arm. So working into the triceps, as well as getting this lovely expansive stretch. So you can hold a little bit tighter on the band if you want a little bit more work. Quite nice to look down or maybe look up, whatever feels good for your neck. Make sure you don't ping your face with a band. So just keep it a little bit away from your face. Four more, reaching that arm up. Three, you can feel that lovely tricep working. Two, good, last one, reach it there. And then just sweep that arm all the way down to the mat and just take a little back stretch here. Pressing out through both hands, both palms, the foot, and just rounding your back, really breathing into that open rib space. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Releasing into that stretch. And then just coming all the way in to seated. Let's come on to the other side. Just make sure you're staying hydrated, little sips of water throughout if you need to. So we're gonna start off with that clam. Just bring your bits of equipment with you so you don't have to rummage around for them. And then just come to lay on the side, head resting on a ball or a cushion, whatever's comfortable for you. Feet nice and flexed. We're lifted from that side. If you need a pillow under your bump, if you're pregnant, then just place that there. 
feet are flexed and we're going to go into that opening and closing from the hip joint. Good, so really supporting the back inside lying by trying to maintain some lift through your center. Heels squeezing together. Good, and then let's add that leg extension when you're ready. So we open, we extend from the knee, push the foot away, bring the heels back together and close. We open, we extend, pressing the heel away, heels back together and close. Lovely, hips are stacked on top of each other. Pelvis is still if you can. So we really want to build stability and mobility, those two together supporting each other. Four more. And close. Three. Good. As it starts to get tough, just try and breathe and feel lots of length. Two. And on the last one, hold the leg, really lengthen it, and then point the foot and start to circle the leg there for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and reverse those circles for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and bend that knee all the way in. Good, so let's just do that lovely hip stretch. Gently press yourself up for a moment from your side, and then just bring that leg that you were working. Flex that foot, see if you can bring it all the way across that thigh, it might be a bit tight. And then you can drop back onto your elbows or stay up on your hands and just open up the chest and the hips. Breathe into the ribs and the tummy. Pressing that thigh gently open. Good. Oh, releasing the hips wide. Good. When you're ready, come out of that stretch nice and gently. We're going to go into that TheraBand arm work now. So bring that band out in front of you as you come to lay on that same side. Head resting down comfortably and the arms are straight out. Hold however you would like. Tight a little bit firmer, depending on the strength of your band, hold a little bit lighter. Mine's really strong, so I'm going to hold nice and light. So we're going to do the up to the ceiling first of all. Those arms are out in front of each other. And then we're going to pull upwards and down. So what you don't want to do is kind of scrunch the shoulder up to lift the arm. You really want to keep that shoulder away from the ear, lift from underneath the shoulder and then lower. So we breathe out for the work bit there, the resistance and we breathe in. And just using the other arm as a nice stabilizing arm, nice and steady. If you start to feel that it does go into the top of the shoulder and the neck, just take a moment just to rest and try and release it and then come back into it because you don't want that to bunch up too much. Couple more here. And then let's hold that one there and then we pull down towards the hips, straight down to the side, into the lats and back up. Good, so we pull down into the side of the waist and back up to the ceiling. Exhale. Into those lats. Nice and steady. Four. Three, really great to do this resistance work. Two, last one, reach and hold. Bring it up again and release it down. Good, give that shoulder a little roll with any tensions built up there. And then we're gonna come to the all fours on the other side. So just have that band handy and ready for you. Move that block a little bit out of the way or that cushion 
and come down onto your all fours. So that same leg that you were doing the oyster with is gonna do the little single leg cat now. So we're here, hands under the shoulders. We're gonna round that knee into the chest and extend it along the mat. You can keep the foot on the floor or lift it up. So if you feel a little bit wobbly, just keep it on the floor. But if you want a little bit more, if you feel nice and balanced, lift the leg. Rounding in on that exhale, reaching long on that inhale. Working into the hip and hamstring. Incorporating the spine, the neck and the head. Four. Three. Two. And last one. That leg's gonna sweep back and then it's gonna circle behind the other leg, bring the knee in and just start to come into a little hip stretch here. So rock back, maybe just staying here on the forearms or keeping your hands straight and pressing back, widening across those hips gently. Just a few moments there. Should feel quite nice. And then just come all the way up, reverse the sweep of the leg all the way back and in. And then we're gonna to come to that kneeling side kick for the tricep extensions. So taking the band into the hand that's staying there in the middle of the mat, and then just gently turning into your side kick position, extending that arm and leg away all the way up here. Lovely, so we've got this nice rainbow shape with the body. We're going to, I might hold a little bit tighter actually. We're going to bend and stretch this arm. So just however tight you need to hold on the band, just taking care of your face, not to have the band too close to your face. Pressing through the shins and the feet as you bend and straighten that top arm, reaching it long and then back into that side. Four, three, hug the center in. Two more. Last one, big reach. And then circle that arm down so it meets the other hand and just take a nice sort of cat stretch, so stretch into the back there, into the side of those ribs that are nice and open. Imagine you're pushing something away with the hands. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, and then just coming back. So we're gonna do some really lovely strengthening of the postural muscles now. We're gonna come to a high kneeling position. So if you need any extra padding under your knees, just make sure you double up your mat or you put something there just to pad your knees out a little bit. Come up to this high kneeling position. You wanna make sure your bottom's not dropping back. So press the hips forwards, really using your glutes and your hamstrings, press into the feet so you've got this firm connection down. We're going to go through our chest expansion, but we're gonna have the band in front of the thighs for this. So we're holding either end of the band. We're lifting tall, really opening up the chest. We're gonna inhale as we pull the band behind the body on each side. We turn the head over one shoulder. We turn the head over the other shoulder and we bring the head back to the center and we release. So we inhale, the whole inhale arms pull behind us, gently working across the shoulders. Turn the head all the way around to one side, all the way around to the other side and gently release. Good, two more here, inhale back. Keep pressing the hamstrings forwards, turn in the head, turn in the head, and center, release. Last one, reach those fingers down and back, pulling on the band, 
Pressing back, turning the head over one shoulder, over the other shoulder, and back to the center, release. Give those shoulders a little roll. Coming into a little kneeling swan. So we're gonna hold the band here. We're gonna reach the arms up. Keep pushing the pelvis forwards as you lift through the chest and the spine. Imagine you're going to go into a big back bend over a lovely big Swiss ball. And then come all the way upright and the arms come down. Should feel really nice through the front of that body. And again, we inhale, arms sweep up, lift out of the waist, out of the chest, open up to the ceiling as you push the hips forwards, band draws backwards, coming up and floating the arms down. Good, so really support from that center as you take this. One last time, inhale, chin lifts, chest lifts, press the hips forwards, draw the arms back, open in your front body, big reach. And then come all the way up steadily and release the arms all the way down there. Really nice, pop that band to one side. Just bring the hands behind the head, take a little flexion and extension. Just a little mobility in this kneeling. Just that thoracic spine, one more. And then just carefully coming up to standing. So if you need some to hold on to anything to stand, then do. We're just gonna place one foot in front of the other. Oh, well, what, yeah, one foot in front of the other, and then just stand up using those nice strong legs. Now taking your ball or your pillow or your block and placing it between your ankles for a little bit of standing balance and stability work for our ankles. So again, if you need to hold onto a wall or a surface, then do that. So we've got the feet firmly stretching down, soft knees, but pull up through the waist. And we're gonna take a rise. I'm gonna keep that prop squeezed between those ankles. Gazing out in front of you as you elevate up onto the balls of the feet. A few clicks there in my ankles and then down. And then we'll take a soft bend of the knees and stretch. And again, we rise. We lower, nice and steady. We bend and we stretch. Good. Inhale, exhale. I was a bit quick on that low rid. Inhale and exhale. Nice. Good. Last two, finding that balance. Strengthening your feet and your ankles. Last one. Good. And then we'll take that prop whatever you're using, just out in front of you here. Separate the feet a little bit wider and we'll just strengthen the legs with some nice squats to finish here. So we inhale as we reach into that squat. We exhale as we come up. Knees tracking over the ankles. Working your thighs, your hip extensors. Getting that nice deep hip flexion. Really important to have nice strong legs. Inhale and exhale, working those joints. Keeping that long, lovely spine. Imagine you've got a pole running through that back. Squeezing your hips forwards at the top. Four more. Three. We're so nearly there, guys. Two. Let's hold this last one just for five. Feeling that lovely strength. Four, three, you can do it. Two, last one, come all the way up. And well done. Just pop that prop down. Gently come down onto the mat, one knee at a time. 
and just come to lay onto your left side. Just let your body just settle. Head can just rest down here. And just placing your hands onto your top rib here, just allowing your body to relax on the side and just breathe into the ribs. So just rest and relaxing after all that hard work. Maybe trying to make the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale. And you can stay here for as long as you feel you need just to really feel restored and relaxed after that lovely workout together. So well done guys. I hope you enjoyed that session and you're feeling really good and energized in your body. And I'll see you again in class soon. Bye.